This is Coach Steve Cook, 11 Scholar Sports, standing here with Michael Porter. Michael, tell me, when was the first time you started playing basketball? When I was three years old. Three years old, that's pretty young. Uh, how old are you right now? Uh, just turned 16 in June. How's the basketball development going so far? Pretty good. I'm trying to get in the gym like every day, every night, work on my skills and everything, so it's going good. Do you strive to, get, to, to work hard and get here and win the PGM? Yeah. I, I mean, that's one of my goals, of course. Now I'll play next year in the peach, in uh, the EYBL 17s and the year after, so one of the years I'm hoping to win it all. Awesome, and we know that you play with Mocan Elite. Uh, tell us a few things about your team. What, what really shines out for you guys? We have a lot of talent, and we just need to start playing. I mean, we're starting to come together as a team more, and a lot of the dudes that are on the team now will be on the EYBL team next year, so we just got to come together as a team. Height, better. weight, school year, and the year you were born? Um, I was born in 1998. I'm six, seven and a half. I weigh 190, and I go to Father Tolton Catholic. Who do you uh, who do you mold your game after? Is there anybody, or is it just, it's just Michael Porter? I mean, I try to do me, but I like the model of Kevin Durant, Rudy Gay, Carmelo, dudes like that. And we know that you're friends with uh, Jason Tatum as well. Do you guys go one on one all the time? I mean, we used to. I don't see him as much anymore. He lives in St. Louis, and I live in Columbia. But I mean, we still say what's up whenever we see each other, and I text him. We text each other back and forth. But we haven't gone one-on-one -on -one lately now. Also, what's, what style of play fits you right now? You're at a very young age, but what style of play you, do you like? I like to get out and go in transition. I mean, I like to play like with athletic dudes, not the type of team that like slows everything down. I like to get up and down a little bit. So that's my, that's my style of play. How would it feel to have Mo Canna lead in this situation winning the Peach Jam? I mean, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so it would be awesome to – I mean, this is the biggest stage in high school basketball, so it would be awesome to be here. And also, uh, what schools are on your radar, and uh, who is it? Uh, what, what's your interest? Is it location? Is it winning national championship? School academics? Uh, what is it for you? My interest is mainly the coaching staff, of course, and I, I want it to be like a good tradition. I don't want to go to a place where I don't have a chance to win a national championship. I want there to be a good tradition and the coaching staff and like the environment of the team. And also, uh, you know, last question. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, who do you want to give a special thanks to that helped mold you into the person and player you are right now? Definitely my dad. He, I mean, we picked up a ball when I was three, and I told him my goals, and he told me he was going to help me work towards them. So I owe everything to him. He's the one that got me to where I am today. Well, it sounds like you got a great head on your shoulders, and the future's just going to get brighter. And thanks for stopping by Quick 11. And, guys, make sure you guys check out Michael Porter because you know he's going to take it over.